Hi again, YouTubers. I am just doing a quick review here. Um, I'm sorry I forget who requested this, um, but it was requested after I did my makeup overview um, in my new vanity um, to see the eyelash curlers I had and to uh, let you know what I thought of them. I do have four. I have uh, an old school Maybelline really basic. Um, looks like every other one you've had. Um, I do have a Shoe Yumera. Shoe Yumera. Shoe Yumera. I always say it wrong. Um, I do have one of those as well. And if you look at them, they look the same. Um, and then I have a Essence of Beauty heated eyelash curler. And then I also have by Lacrosse see that there. This one is also a heated eyelash curler. So a little about each of them. Um, and then at the end, I will let you know what my favorite is. You might be surprised. Um, the lacrosse uh, eyelash curler is actually, you push it down and you'll see, I'm not sure if you can see it here, the red button comes on. And once it actually heats up, it turns green. Now you use this one after you've put your mascara on sounded a little strange to me. So you actually put your mascara on. My mirror is down here, so bear with me. But then you put it up against, after it's heated up, this one's not heated up yet, um, but you put it against the base of your lashes, but not too close as to um, possibly damage your eyelid. Um, so you put it close to your eyelashes, and then you pull it up and out, and I can actually already feel it now. Um, it is warming up. So, um, and as you pull it up and out, it is supposed to help the mascara stay in the curled motion that you are pulling it in. Um, it works. It works okay. Um, it's a lot of work uh, just in order to hold the curl a little bit better. It doesn't hold it like amazingly better. I'm not like, oh my gosh, it was so great. Um, but it does hold the curl slightly better than it does with just an eyelash curler. Um, it was only $9.99, so I gave it a try. Um, I don't tend to reach for it because I forget about it. Um, and by the time I get to that point, I don't want to spend a couple minutes waiting for it to heat up and then go on from there. Uh, the Essence of Beauty eyelash curler is a, as well a heated one. You push the button here, so it says on, and the button is green, and then once it turns red, it's, or no, I'm sorry, once this piece right here, which is the eyelash, uh, the plastic part, um, the rubber grip, once that turns clear, because it's almost like an opaque uh, beige color right now, um, once that turns clear, it's ready to use. Now this you use before your mascara. Now here's the hard part about it. It has two buttons on either side. It works with one, but it doesn't work very well. So when you are putting it at your eyelash base, you can see this, and then you're pushing it up to hold it down. It's not as easy as a regular, oh, you can feel, like, well, I also have mascara on, so that wasn't my smartest idea, but you actually, it's difficult because you can't use both fingers because your one finger is too close to your nose. So you can only use one finger at a time to push it up. So I find this difficult to use. Um, however, this does give me a better curl than the lacro lacrosse one. Um, this one holds the curl a little bit better. Um, I think it's because you're using it with the same essence of what you're using a regular one for, which is to actually push the eyebrows up and curl them, and I use it in steps out. This is very difficult to do with this, so I just use this one at the very base. I use a regular eyelash curler, I walk in two steps out. Um, so this does work, it does help, but again, when I'm just running out the door, the only time I use this, honestly, is if I'm going out on a weekend and I want a really, really dramatic eyelash. Sorry, I could feel an eyelash. Um, so it does work. It's not my favorite thing just because of uh, the two switches make it very difficult to use. Uh, one is kind of difficult, two is very difficult. You can't do it because of the side of your nose. Um, again, this one was like, I think it was $14.99 and I got it at CVS um, and it was um, like 40% off when I bought it. So it wasn't a bad deal. Definitely worth, you know, the couple dollars I paid for it, less than 10, I think. Um, the lacrosse one, by the way, um, I got at Ulta. Then you have the infamous Shoe Yumera eyelash curler and a basic Maybelline one. 
I like the shoe Yumera. However, it's still not my favorite. I still go back to my Maybelline. Um, the reason being, for some reason, this one actually, um, when it's sitting here, it will close itself, if you can see this. It's actually closed. Whereas with the shoe Yumera, it stays open, if you can see this. Um, it doesn't usually stay closed. Um, so for some reason, this one, I checked the width. The shoe Yumera is a little bit wider as far as the area across here. Let me see if I can match them up for you. If you see that, just slightly, let's see. Just slightly, slightly wider. So, um, doesn't help that way either. Anyway, sorry, trying to show you stuff. Um, the shoe Yumera is like $20. Um, I got it at Sephora online, um, and I think you can purchase it in the store, and uh, you can buy it at shoeyumera.com. Uh, the Maybelline one, I've had forever. I did have some elf ones, by the, or an elf one, some, geez, I'm doing good. An elf one uh, that was a dollar from eyeslipsandface.com. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like the handle on it. It didn't have the little rings, which made it very difficult because I tend to do this and then flip it down. Um, while I'm doing my mascara and then I flip it back up for the next eye. Um, so out of all of them, for the difference in cost, honestly, I bought this Maybelline one so long ago I couldn't even tell you how much it cost. Um, but for the differences between the Maybelline one to the Shoe Yumera, this one, the Shoe Yumera still catches my eyelashes down in the corners for some reason. Um, the Maybelline one does not. I don't know if it's because it's broken in. Um, but of all the ones I have, I would uh, purchase my Maybelline again. Um, I do like the Shoe Yumera, however, it's just not my favorite. Um, and the Essence of Beauty is, if you can find it on sale, it is definitely a fun one to have and use every once in a while. I would tell you not to really bother with the Lacoste one. It's a lot more work and it's a lot more cleaning uh, just to use it um, and doesn't have an amazing effect. So that was my review on my eyelash curlers and I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, please uh, put them below and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day.